Hello, darling viewers, it's Jen here at Check Her Joy, and this time I'm reviewing Dirk Gently's Holistic Detective Agency comics from IDW. This is their second series, A Spoon Too Short. I have already reviewed um, The Interconnectedness of All Kings, and I will post a link to that review down in the description below. So these follow Douglas Adams' holistic detective, Dirk Gently. Um, Dirk believes in the interconnectedness of all things. So as he starts investigating uh, one case, he maybe will get clues to what seem like completely different and separate cases, but they might actually be all interconnected. Um, this is a quirky and fun comics. Um, the second one, A Spoon Too Short, is a bit more mature. Um, there are like some PG-13 sex scenes going in here, and very early on in the first issue we have one of Dirk's friends dressed up as a sexy nurse for um, Halloween, so a little more mature contact content in here, but nothing like too bad. I own issues one through four and have finally read them. Um, and I got the trade paperback out of the library to finally finish this comic book series and get through it all. Um, this particular edition has both A Spoon Too Short and The Interconnectedness of All Kings in it. I have seen trade paperbacks where they are both separate too. Um, and it's just combining them. So A Spoon Too Short is five issues. This one also has an interview with Sam Barnett, who plays Dirk Gently in the television show, and also a bit in the back about like making the show, which was interesting and cool. Um, the art and writing on A Spoon Too Short is by Arvind, Ethan David, and Elias Karazas, which I probably totally just mispronounced. So those names are in the description, as always. Oh. This series starts off with Dirk in London, and he gets called in by his friend Sally to investigate these this family who lost their voices. Um, they went on vacation, and when they came back, they can't talk anymore. And when Dirk tries to hand them like a notepad to tell them what happened, it's just a bunch of squiggly lines. Like they've lost the ability to write, also, which is strange. However, they can still communicate in song. Like they can sing fine. So it's this really weird, like, what happened to them when they were on vacation? At the same time, he gets called in to investigate this case in Africa by this Professor Travers, who um, tells him about an entire tribe in Kenya who have also lost their voices. And so Dirk gets on a plane and heads to Kenya, which is pretty cool. Um, there is also a side story in here about uh, poachers who are going after rhinoceroses. Um, some elephants who are seeing strange lights, but Dirk doesn't know that. So it's kind of, we know more than Dirk does. We do get to meet some of Dirk's friends, like Sally, um, who's the nurse in London. Uh, Professor Travers, who is this African woman who convinces him to travel with her. And then they meet Dr. Madluck, who is this animal conservationist in Kenya, and he is this big burly man who is trying to protect, save the rhinoceroses. In these comics, we also have flashbacks to Dirk's childhood and past, like as a, like a child, and like the stuff that happened to him in college, which was cool to see more of Dirk's life, which I really thoroughly enjoyed. I love trying to figure out how everything uh, fit together, which I think is part of the fun of these Dirk Gently comics. So there are two different art styles going on in these comics. So here we have like Dirk's childhood with him playing in the treehouse and it's like it's a different style of art, which is cool. And then we have a different art style for like the present day so you can tell the flashbacks part. Um, which I thought was cool stylistically to do that and to differentiate between them two and they're both really awesome art styles. Um, so, I think that's it. I really enjoyed these comics. I have not read the Dirk Gently novel, um, but it is kind of keeping in line with the television shows, um, the one from 2010, and then the one that just came out in 2016, which is based off these comics. Apparently, these comics take place after the novel, A Long Tea Time of the Soul, which I haven't read, and before the events in the comics, The Interconnectedness of All Kings, and the television show. Here are the other covers since I have them. Ta da! Um, basically, 
<laughs> There's the cover for five right there. Yeah. So, basically, go check out these comics if you love quirky, fun detective stories. And don't mind strange, bizarre things happening. Peace out. I love you guys. And keep reading. Bye.